Hey guys, it's Huff. I am back again. This is going to be an update of my A to Z project pan that I'm doing in collaboration with a whole bunch of other lovely ladies from the Pantastic Ladies. I didn't update this last month. I did not update any of my projects last month. Um, I didn't actually film any updates or anything last month. So, um, yeah, probably a bit more progress because of that, although I didn't use a lot of pro products during June. June was just a really, really bad month. Um, as a result, I'm going to go through everything um, one by one, show you where I'm at. A few things I have actually decluttered from this project, which was part of the reason I was doing it anyway. Um, so that will uh, reduce the number of things that I have left in the project anyway. I'm trying to find my... Um, I like her. Okay, first of all we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder in Caramel. It has a dent. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it. Um, there is a dent over here. That is where I work my brush. It is in that line there between the two colours. Eventually I will hit pan there. Um, and I've actually decided that when I hit pan on this, I'm going to um, take this out of the project and um, focus on some of my other brow products because this is one of those beasts that's going to last forever so I'm just going to goal reach on this one now. Next we have Beige Rose from Maybelline. I'm pretty sure it's got, lips. <laughs> it's got lip liner lipstick on. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look any different. It, it um, I don't really, haven't really been using, as I said, haven't really been using makeup, so I haven't been using that. Um, oops. C is the Clump Crusher Mascara from CoverGirl. I'm still using this. Um, I know it's been now open six months because I opened it right at the very start of this project. Um, but it still is fine as far as I'm concerned. Um, so I'm just going to keep on using it. Um, D and E were both already out. Uh, F is the Fuego lip liner from Crown. Um, I have used it and it probably needs sharpening but the line that I had from last time has actually moved. So I'm not going to bother drawing a new line. Uh, G was the Gold Coal Eyeliner from L'Oreal. Um, I have decluttered this. Um, it be coming up in a declutter video. This is a weird powder eyeliner thing. Um, and I never reach for it. And I never want to reach for it. It's super duper messy. So I decided that um, why am I trying to crucify myself? Um, the next one is the HD powder from Artist Selection, which is Crown's um, store brand. I'm trying to get it to settle, kind of. It is basically just below the line that was there last time. Haven't really been using it, so I'm not really not surprised at all. The Anika Pure Primer. This doesn't feel like it's got anything in it, um, but when I put makeup on today and I used it, stuff came out. So, but I'm pretty sure there can't be too much more left in this. Really wish I'd weighed it and I started. Uh, the Jane Nail Polish. Uh, looks like it's moved a little bit. literally right underneath the old line. It's moved a tiny little bit. Last time around I took the Krylon colour wheel out and put in this eyeliner from LA Colours 
code Pinky. Um, I have used this. Ooh, okay. Um, um, it's just a fairly fairly close to my lip colour, actually. So, last time we were at the blue line just above the TARDIS, and now we're at that black line on the TARDIS roof. So, progress on that one. The uh, lip prep lip balm from the runway room. Um, I don't really look a whole lot different. I haven't really used it that much, so I'm not really that surprised. Uh, the Natio Bronzer Enhancer um, Highlighter Thingy What's It. I am going to be repressing this after this video, so that is where we are at with that. It's starting to get pretty hard to pick up the products, so I'm going to repress it in the center of the pan. So that, that one's going well. The Obscure Eye Pigment from Glamour Doll Eyes. Um, progress has been made, but it's probably really hard for you guys to tell. But I have used it several times, so we're getting somewhere with that one. Um, for P, we had Periwinkle from Revlon. I think I've used it like twice. It doesn't look any different. Uh, for Q, we have Quicksand from Sally Hansen. Which is at the pink mark now. I have used this a few times. So... Um, progress is probably going to be even slower now because it's getting to the wide part of the bottle. Red Flare from Orly is R. And it's really hard to see through the bottle. I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see my line, but it's... That's where we are now. It's actually getting really, really hard to get product out of this once you take the brush out of the bottle because these bottles, the brush is not um, the brush doesn't go all the way down to the bottom of the bottle anyway. And so when you go to dip it back in, I'm actually above like the brush doesn't actually, when you go like that, it just touches the top of the product. Which starts to make it really difficult to get product out. You kind of got to like tilt the bottle and it's, it's a bit of a pain. So that one might be gone next time because I might just get too frustrated. <laughs> uh, Spear eyeliner from Emmet Makeup. It's just a cream eyeliner. This one's had some progress. Oops. Do not try to put your pen into your eyeliner lid. It doesn't work. Okay. We were there, and now we're there. So we made some progress on that one. That's good. Um, another product that got taken out last time, um, well, after last time, is the CoverGirl True Blend. I've been talking about this and about how I didn't really like it and it didn't look good on my skin. You can see how much of it I used. If it would focus. Um, so I used quite a lot of it. Um, the thing that ended up 
making the decision for me is I have a bottle of the Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. The Matt Paulus looks terrible on me. The Dewy and Smooth, however, looks really nice. It looks a lot better than this does. And using that a couple of times, I was like, um, so this foundation actually looks okay, and this foundation looks like shit. Uh, so it was like, oh, I'm just going to declutter that one. So, yeah, that one is gone. I should probably mark the ones that I got rid of, hey? For you, we have the Urban Coral Nail Polish from Maybelline. This one has had a nice big jump in it. This is probably one I wore more than any other nail polish. So that's it. We are down there, we were up there. So, made some good progress on that one. Uh, for V, we had the Vivid Violet NYX Liquid Eyeliner. It's actually what I am wearing today, and it's still working fine. I don't know how much is in there. Um, for W, we have Well Dressed, the MAC Blush. There is a fairly significant dent over this side, which is where I work my brush. This is another one that when I hit pan in this, I will be taking it out and working on a different blush. So that is where we are with that. I don't know that I'm too far away from hitting pan. It's a pretty big dent that's in there. So, But it will happen when it happens. Uh, the one for X is XOXO from Ulta 3. Which looks like a little tiny bit of progress on that one. I used it a few times. Um, the one for Y is Yodel Me on My Cell by OPI. And that one, it'll be really hard to see. It was up there and now it's down there. So, progress on that one, finally. And lastly, we have the Zurich uh, Soft Matte Lip Cream from NYX. No idea where this is at, it's just still got product coming out, still smells good. Um, it was brand new when we started, so yeah. So that is it for my A to Z project pan. If you want to subscribe, click down there, click the bell if you want to get notified of when I upload new videos. Uh, leave me a thumbs up if you like project pan type videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!